But there is one thing that all demons have in common. It's one thing. No matter the demon that you're dealing with, it's one thing that they have in common. And that one thing is capitalism. They enjoy it. They thrive off of it. Even though it is dying. Even though it is killing them. And this is because this is all they've given their life to. Which is the problem and isn't the problem all at the same time. Because all you got to do is have a change of mind, a change of heart, denounce, renounce, and move on, right? But it is hard to do. It's hard to do because it's going to require more parts of you than you may be willing to confront at one point. I mean, after that, the only question is how does capitalism, um, how, how does it connect to nature? And I'll tell you, it is the absolute opposite of nature. Capitalism is the absolute opposite of nature, right? And people like to fuck your head up and say, okay, well, if you don't, if you want to denounce capitalism, you got to stop wearing shoes. And that's your mindset, right? Because what you're saying is that ideas are capitalistic from inception, right? So, the, and now keep in mind that before things are ideas, they are thoughts, right? So, because you don't comprehend that, that idea, you don't comprehend that process, right? It, it isn't a real thing to you. you. You're pretty much cutting out a piece of your own self, right? And this is what capitalism does. It's literally what it does. It takes a piece from you. You understand? So, it's like, um, you have to understand that. People come up with, with, with the shoes and, and how to do certain things and clothes and ideas and videos and movies and plays or whatever the case may be, stories, raps, whatever the shit may be, whatever it is, right? They come up with these things. These things are all thoughts before they are tangible ideas. They are all thoughts. They are all part of the unseen world. And this is also a part of the, the this is also a part of the natural world. Because the, the unseen is directly connected to the most high creator of all things, right? So if you can't understand the unseen process in your own life, this is a block. This is what's making you a demon. So it's not necessarily about you being good or bad or, you know, oh, you rob people, you do you this, you that. It's about what you're, what you're, it's about what you really call your God. Right? Right? It's it's about these bills that you do everything for. Right? It's about these standards that you do anything for that are tearing you apart, tearing your family apart, tearing your streets apart. It's about all of these different things. Because all these things are all interconnected into a system that was created to turn you into what it, into what it wanted you to be. But that is against God, and that's capitalism. Because someone will, will build upon that. They'll capitalize off that. They will make money off of that. They will make money off of your detriment. Because, and it's always off your detriment because you really be thinking that they're giving you something. They're not giving you something. They're giving you the access, right, that they took. Huh? And put a fee on the door for people to get in. They took. It was free. It was a hundred percent free. So pretty much they 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 taking your own shit. They took your own sneakers and sold them to you. Same for Jordan, same for all of them. The capitalism took their sneakers, took their clothing, took everything, and sold it back to them. Some people it was a big flip, some a small flip, some no flip, some flipped into them to jail, some flips into them dead. But it was a flip that you did with something, an energy, an entity that was sent to take control of the natural world and build a fake world on top of it and made you a slave to it. So this is why denouncing capitalism is going to be the first thing that, 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 that you really should be focused on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying come outside butt naked. That's not what I'm saying. 
my 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 thoughts, my ideas, they are my own before I have a chance to sell it to you. Whether it's a t-shirt, a sneaker, a poem, whatever. It is it is my own before before I got a deal and they the in the in the in the the uh what you call it? You put it in the warehouse, made a billion copies of the shit, and, and pressed it and, and copied and posted it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying that denouncing capitalism is the only thing that you have to do, but it's a very, 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 very large part of it, right? A very large part of it. But the best part about it is, once you do it, so many other aspects are going to come naturally. Just like the facts are, before you was able to go to school, right, just to go to high school and be called a dropout, a loser, or this or that, one of the prerequisites was you had to get all your shots, right? You had to be entirely vaccinated because if you weren't entirely vaccinated, you weren't eligible for the program, period. You was not going to be eligible for the program. You wasn't going to be eligible to be called a loser. You was going to have to figure out how to live off the land and not be a part of this crashing system that everyone fell under. See, one of the main dangers of capitalism is that it made you believe that you can't live without it. See, not only will you live off the land without capitalism, but you will build off the land. You will create off the land, just like we do every motherfucking day. And we do these things, and they take these things from them, and they call them capitalistic ideas. They call them things fit to be sold. They call them things fit to be used to, to judge you by. You understand? But before these, before these judgments and before all of these inv- invitations to be to be weighed, these things came straight from nature, straight from you, straight from me. As if, like, if people were never around to buy and sell stuff, people would have never thought to make sneakers. People would have thought to never make music. People would have never thought to make books. Just because no one's there to motherfucking capitalize off of it, that is a very, very narrow-minded way of thinking. You're almost fit to be called an asshole. And I have proof of my claim. At one point, people in America thought that the only way to make money was to work a nine-to-five job. We've, we've, we've cut that shit out. We've cut that shit out. That whole rule of you can't make money off doing what you love, we cut that shit out. Did it backfire? Yes, it did. However, it only shows us the possibilities of how we could take over what thinks is taking over us. And it's crazy how the setup is, you know, everybody's upset with the so-called powers that be because they're doing this and they're doing that. They're raising these prices. They're raising that prices. They're making this hard. They're making that hard. Right. That's usually what everyone is saying. However, that's not denouncing capitalism. That's just showing the negative effects that capitalism is having in your life, right? You kind of kind of just got to get that monkey off your back because you can you can um especially like, you know, when you're in prison or you're in jail, they don't have to take your mind I think every prisoner can tell us that, can definitely tell us that. And I think we should know that for ourselves. Can't nobody take your motherfucking mind unless you give it on over to them. Now, once you give your mind on over to them, then you damn sure correct that they do have your mind. Now, over time, the devil has come up with the plan to get our minds. And to not only get our minds, but to get our minds successfully, right? Spiritual warfare is the process of us getting that back. I haven't said it in a few videos. I'm about to say it. Season 2, Lecture 1, the two-part lecture. We spoke about the war between good and evil. We were referencing the war between nature and capitalism. We were referencing the war between God, the Most High, and, and, and the adversary. Now, peep this. During this war, we already acknowledged that the Most High won. So if the most high creator of all things won, of course, that means nature won, of course.
That means whoever on the side of nature won, of course. So that means you need to get on the winning team if you are not on the winning team. And you have to denounce capitalism. No, you don't have to be out here barefoot and ashy. No, no, you don't. You can strive to be the best that you can be because that's what the Most High wants for us to do. But you must be willing. One, to not only denounce yourself, but two, you must be willing to make sure all of these different steps that have been put in, in place by the law are not taken away from you, not taken away from your culture, not taking away your connection with nature, your connection with the Most High Creator, because that's what they're doing. The Most High Creator is not on the dollar bill. That Whatever was on that dollar bill... That's who you're praying to, and that's what you're worshiping, and that's the, the motherfucking warfare that's on your back. Why? Because nature won. So if you are not in alignment with nature, that means you are in alignment with, with, with capitalism. And if you're in the alignment with capitalism, that means you are going down. You are losing energy. You are losing momentum because that is what's happening. That is what's happening. Okay, it means you are struggling to hold on. That means you don't really, you're really struggling to hold on, right? You need to get in line with nature. Listen, it is a process. You have to speak to the creator of this motherfucking planet. You have to speak with the creator. That is, this is your home. This is our home. If we take away all these boxes that were created for our detriment, all we have is nature. All we have is the earth. That's it. And you can't tell me that if it wasn't for motherfucking the government and capitalism, we wouldn't have recorded music. You're stupid. You're stupid and dumb and retarded. It's not the case. That's just not the case. We, w this technology all comes from natural sources. Electricity comes from the ground. I just want to say that one more time, because if you can understand that the route to high blood pressure is salt and sweets and snacks or whatever they tell old people, then how can you not under or believe that shit? Because it's not true. But if then how can you not understand that the root, bruh, the root of everything technological, spathological is electricity. It comes from the ground. It comes from the ground. It's like, I don't even, like, I can't even, like, I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna stop saying that, because I think you get it, right? So, you can't tell me that Mac, maybe Mac, maybe it wouldn't have been called MacBook, maybe it would have been called something different, maybe we would have had our all different versions of it, more than likely. We would have been we would have had abundance. Yo, this is crazy. Because the same information that they are taking from the same earth, they, they're charging you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Salvation is free. Redemption is free. It is free. I understand the whole logic of trying to like put um, a dollar to things because you don't want nobody to take advantage of your time and that's fine but we can't negate the facts and we can't we can't negate the facts however it's easy to see how this can be confusing because we live in a world where we truly believe that if you aren't down with capitalism you don't deserve to survive you heard me? Now, when like when the Bible or the Quran or the Torah says, if you don't work, you don't eat. See, this is true. Because when you, even in the kingdom of the most high created nature, you have to work to eat. You, but, but, but you're actually just going and making and, and going to, to a garden. You're going to a place of abundance. You're going to a place where you don't have to pay for, for, for things that are going to improve, are going to improve you. You know what I'm saying? And this is why this is why electricity can come straight from the ground and understanding its process can be common in that type of environment because it's not taxed and sold. You understand? So the things that we think are very complex, 
you know, it's only because these things are taxed and sold. And it's only because we are also being MK Ultra to death so that certain types of people and certain things line up in the course that their God wants it to line up and not in the course of the Most High Creator. Just because you don't excel here, you excel there, you know, which there doesn't, you know, isn't doesn't fit in one of their boxes, you're gonna be a loser. That that's 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 not that's not a that's not a place of abundance. It's not a place of abundance at all. Alright, we're gonna keep it moving. Going to the next one.